Hello friends, in this video we will learn the theory of a knot gate and we will design it on breadboard. Here is the logic symbol of a knot gate. It has one input terminal and one output terminal. When we apply one at the input, it gives zero at the output. That means it invert the input. When we apply zero, it gives one. So this is the truth table of a knot gate. Here is the IC number of a knot gate 7404. Here is the diagram of a knot gate IC. We can see in a knot gate IC, that means in a 7404 IC, there are six knot gate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here is pin number 1 is the input of this first knot gate and 2 is the output of this first knot gate. Then 3 is the input of second knot gate and 4 is the output of second knot gate and so on. When we keep this, this is a 7404 not get IC. When we keep this IC like this, that means you can see there is a cut mark. By keeping this cut mark to the left side, then the first pin becomes pin number 1. Then this is pin 1. Then second is 2 like this and the, this one 7. Then 8, 9, 10 up to 14. We have to connect this pin number 7 to ground pin that means we have to connect it to negative terminal of our battery and this pin number 14 that means this one the last one we have to connect it to positive terminal of our battery so let us first insert it into the breadboard so first we will insert it by keeping this cut mark to the left side so this is pin number one so we will connect a wire that is pin number one is the input so we will connect a wire at pin one and we will use this terminal as terminal a this is a then we will connect a connect an led 5 mm led at the output that means at pin number two to observe the output so for this LED, we need a 100 ohm resistor. So we have to connect this 100 ohm resistor to pin number 2 and we will connect the another terminal to any point of breadboard. Then from that point, we have to connect the positive terminal of our LED. That means this long terminal that is longer one. Then we have to connect the negative terminal of our LED to ground. We will consider this row that means this row up to this this row as ground that means we will connect the negative terminal of our battery to any point of this row that's why we have connected it to ground then we will connect this pin number seven to ground this is pin seven to ground to any point of this row and right. pin number 14 to vcc this is the pin number 14 and we will connect it to this row that means this row up to this up to this uh, we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to this row now our circuit is ready we will use this 4 volt battery you can use a battery of 4 volt or 4.5 volt or 5 volt or 6 volt that means you can use battery between 4 to 5 volt but you can also use this type of battery this is 9 volt battery because these these type of batteries are commonly available at the market but the recommended voltage for a not get ic is 5 volt so if we use directly use this 9 volt battery then it may damage the ic so we have to first convert this 9 volt to lower volt if you don't know how to convert that you can watch our video the link of that video is given in the description of this video now we have to connect the positive terminal of this battery to our vcc row that we have considered and negative terminal to this ground row now we will observe the output from this truth table we can see when we apply one one means we have to connect this a terminal to VCC that means VCC row 
so in this case the output is zero here you see zero that means the uh, led is now in off state when we apply zero zero means we have to connect this eight terminal a to ground row ground means zero so we can see in this case the output should be one so that is why the led is now in on state so we have verified the truth table so thank you for watching this video if you like our videos then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also buy electronics components projects modules boards from our website www.dpvtechnology.com thank you